Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Um, if you can go ahead and unmute yourself and uh, say hello, please. Hello. 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 All right. So I'm going to give you guys a speech about mental illness, um, a deadly bullet. Bill and his son, Aaron, went out for a night of fun at Just In Time Bowling Alley. Little to their knowledge, they would never see any of their family members or friends again. They are among the innocent people killed in a mass shooting in Lewiston, Maine, according to a 2023 article from Rudders. According to an article from PBS.org, there were notices to the local police department with concerns of the shooter, shooter's mental health. Yet, he had access to firearms and was the lone gunman who took 18 innocent lives, wounded 13, and then killed himself. We have a major problem in our country. Shootings that cause injuries and even worse, death in America is on the rise. So many innocent lives are lost and families are left without their loved ones. According to the ABC News in an article published in October of 2023, the United States has confirmed 566 mass shootings. That averages out to about two shootings every day. How tragic is that statistic? We need to find a solution to help decrease that number significantly. Gun owners who have mental health issues should not be allowed to purchase and possess any type of firearm. There have been so many stories of tragic events where innocent victims are unfortunately the target of, sh of a shooter who struggles for mental health. With guns carrying the type of power that can kill a human being with one single bullet, our country needs to be extremely careful with who can own a firearm. We often hear about the perpetrator of a mass shooting having mental illness issues. And according to the Journal of Social Psychology, a study of mass shootings between the years of 1996 and 2001 showed two thirds of the incidents involved a shooter who displayed or had been diagnosed with psych psychological problems within a month of the shooting. There should be a mandatory mental health screening for all people purchasing a firearm. Those who have struggled with mental health issues in the past should not have an easy time buying a firearm. There also needs to be a yearly mental check for gun owners. And if they do not comply, there should be a fine assessed. The United States is so technologically advanced, we have a database that checks for warrants, fugitives, sex offenders, and illegal aliens. Why can't we check for mental health? A common database that is utilized across our nation is used in public schools. When you go to a school, you visit a school, you have to have your identification card scanned to ensure you are who you say you are and not an offender. And if you don't, you'll be turned away. We should establish a similar database system for gun owners. Like they should go through a yearly process of mental health clearances to ensure they are mentally stable to own a firearm. The system should work hand in hand with stores that sell firearms or that sell bullets. If someone fails to complete their year yearly mental check, then when attempting to purchase bullets or a firearm, it will be halted and they will be denied, it will not be allowed. The US can help control efforts to make sure people are using them for the right reasons and not to commit murders. According to a peer review article from 2021, by the International Review of Psychiatry, findings show that mental health problems were the greatest common stressor in the lives of active shooters a year before their attacks. Firearms are easier than getting life insurance, buying a house or a car, getting health insurance, registering to vote, and unfortunately, the age to buy a gun is younger than the age to legally drink. 
There are some possible warning signs, and with the help of medical providers, family members, friends, and, sh and school employment staff, there can be protocols in place to prevent mass shootings caused by people struggling with mental health disorder. Guns are not in any way viewed as bad weapons. However, there are bad people who have access to them. And fortunately, many people have lost loved ones to gun violence and at the hands of individuals who should not have been able to possess them at all. To each of the victim's families who have lost a loved one due to senseless act of a shooter struggling with mental health issues, I'm deeply sorry, but we can change that stigma. Thank you. If you can just unmute yourself and um, say goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Hi. Hi, Grandma. Don't please cut it. Bye. 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 Bye.